Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I love to come live once a week to show you what I've been working on in my craft room. So today, um, we're going to do a gift card holder uh, with a little bit of a fun fold. I know that um, in the last few years, um, there's been a tendency to buy a few more gift cards because then the recipient can choose what they want and it's easy peasy. Um, but it's also awesome to have something really fun to put that gift card in. So I'm going to be showing you a fun fold gift card holder today. Hey, thanks Tammy for popping in. Um, thanks for everyone who will be joining me. Um, I appreciate you taking some time this morning to see what's been going on here in my craft room. So I'm actually just gonna get started, pop down to the workspace and show you the projects. Remember too that the measurements will be online at my blog at um, Kim Plays with paper.com. Good morning, Sandy. Thanks for joining. Alrighty. Let's see what we're working with today. Okay, there we go. Hey, Beth, thanks for joining. I'm going to be working with the Cheers to the Season stamp set. I really like this one because of the, um, it gives you a wide range of images. So here was um, an image that I used a lot at Thanksgiving. Um, this is a great holiday. This could be New Year's, but actually I've used this for birthdays and congratulations. And right now, um, this set's going to be retiring and it's actually discounted. So instead of the $25, it's now $17.50. So if you need this for your collection, um, you go online and grab it. But it's on page 63 of Stampin' Up's um, September through December 2023 mini catalog. Um, and here's the fun fold. And then I have at the end, I have a couple of other designs that I show, um, that I'll show you. Um, but it's, it's just flat like this and it fits in one of Stampin' Up's regular envelopes. Hey, Cindy, thanks for popping in. And voila, that's what it, um, that's how that gift card opens. So, um, Hey, Christine, thanks for joining. You'll be able to write a message here, and then um, your gift card fits in a nice little um, section right here. Close it up and put it in an envelope, and you have a, a fun way to give that gift card holder. So I talked about the stamp set that we're using, which is the Cheers to the Season. Um, this designer series paper comes from... Um, Stampin' Up's A Walk in the Forest. Uh, if, um, if you haven't heard, A Walk in the Forest is Stampin' Up's a Give Back this year. So $3 from each package, sale of each package of this 12 by 12 designer series paper is donated to help um, children in need have a good holiday. I'll just quick show you the, the um, pieces to that. It also coordinates with the... Um, very cute and the merriest trees. Hey, Shirley. Um, lots of different designs. Um, so there's your bear and your trees and you have some other little trees. So this is the one I'm using with um, the cherry cobbler and um, shaded spruce, pretty peacock. Just really gorgeous. Lots of um, really fun holiday designs. So this paper is also retiring, so uh, it's still available if you want it. Um, grab it before it's gone. I can help you if you need any of that. Some more bears, <clears throat> more other designs, just Christmas holiday in that designer series paper. All right, so let me get started with the card. Like I said, I will show you a couple more designs. Uh, when um, I'm all finished, just as a reminder, that's just um, how that will work. So um, we'll start with a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that's five and a half by four and a quarter, and then um, five and a quarter by four for that. Um, so that that makes our base. Uh, so I'm 
going to just kind of build and talk at the same time. And then you can see how that goes together. But it's fun. It's just a fun, different um, gift ho card holder design. There are lots of them out there. Every year I have to show just show you at least one, um, but there are lots of different designs um, out there. Hey, Lori, thanks for joining. The next piece is a cherry cobbler again. And this is nine and three quarters by four and one half. And you'll need your um, scorer, your score or your trimmer. I love the trimmer because it um, scores and cuts, but you also have to be sure that you are scoring and not cutting. So you'll need two scores on this one, and we're going to score at three and one quarter. Um, slip it in here. I'm left-handed, so it may look upside down to you. Oh, and I need the arm. That's the other thing. This has an arm that comes out, so it's super super easy. All right, three and a quarter and six and a half. So I'm just scoring that like so, and I'll move that out of the way. And I need to sometimes bring that in for reference to see how I need to score it. So this top one's going to come back and I will, um, give it a good burnish with the bone folder. Hi, Dawn. Thanks for popping in. And then the other one is going to come back like that. So it's kind of like a little, I don't know, a Z, whatever design you want to call it. All right. So um, then we'll need a piece of designer series paper. Hey, Jen, thanks for joining. Making a gift card holder, a fun fold gift card holder. So then I have a piece of that, a walk in the forest designer series paper, and that measures uh, four and a quarter by three. Like I said, all of these measurements will be on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com, and you can always ask questions. I'll go through uh, the comments here and see if you have any questions at all. Happy to help in any way. Hey, Jeannie, thanks for joining. Um, and I can't decide if this paper has an orientation or not, but that looks like it's going the right way. Um, so then this next piece will kind of, kind of show you as I go where it goes. We also have the very vanilla. That's the color I chose to go with this. That, help, that measures um, four and a quarter by three. This is where you'd write your message. You could even just um, do like a two from if you wanted to as well. Hey, Kathy. Glad everybody could watch this morning. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. Well, then we'll put that here. All right. And now we need to create the little pocket for the gift card. Um, and that piece measures four and a quarter by two. Then you'll need a circle punch. Any circle punch or circle die will do. Hey, Teresa, thanks for joining. And I'm just gonna make a little um, a little pop out um, so that you'll be able to get the gift card holder in and out of there. I am going to bring in the Stampin' Up's Terran tape. Um, it's nice and thin, so I know that I can Still put the adhesive around there and get the gift card in and out. Hey, Marilyn, thanks for joining. Thanks, everybody. Hey, Raylene. All right, so I'm just going to take the little tear and tape. Um, tear and tape, you can either use your scissor or, just like it says, you can tear it. I'm trying to get it as close to the edge as I can um, so that I do leave room for my gift card. And we want to just do it on the bottom, put the tape on the bottom, and the sides, we don't want to do the top or we can't get the gift card in it. Um, sometimes that happens. You just get to crafting and all those things. Um, just let me burnish that and bring in my little um, pick tool to get that. To, so you can you can make these gift cards as um, elaborate or as simple. 
uh, as you want. They're your gift packaging. Nice to throw them in, an, in one of our envelopes. You could decorate the outside of the envelope. Um, I don't have any fingernails, so I'm going to use this tip of this pick tool to do that. And then that just pops right here. There's a, just a little bit of an edge. Burnish that. Hey, Wendy, thanks for joining. All right, so that gives me still some, let's test it. Let's see if I did it. Make sure the gift card fits in there and... Yes, it does. So we are good to go. Um, let's go ahead then and affix this piece to the um, base. Um, so that's what that looks like. Hey, Sharon. Thanks for joining. All right. Lots of adhesive. We don't want it to fall apart. Generally do that. Make sure I have it. Oh, good. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I just did it the wrong way, but I did it the right way. I did put the adhesive on the back side of the um, the gift card piece because that's the one we want. And so we haven't even stamped yet. So, but that's going to be, that's going to be easy peasy because the stamp does it all. So um, I have cut a stylish shape stitched circle um, from Very Vanilla, I have Cherry Cobbler ink, and um, yes, Cindy, I nearly panicked. I thought, are you kidding me? I just glued that, but I, it did it right. <laughs> so on some of these big stamps, I like to ink from the top um, to make sure I get good coverage. This is one of those distinctive stamps, and I can use my grid paper to practice on. It just the distinctive just gives it a different um, variation. I love the way these stamp. Um, so yeah, so this uh, Cheers to the Season is on sale. Um, so versatile. So I'll just stamp that in the middle. Like give it ink a chance to sink in. There we go. Um, what I also did, um, I, I really wanted some ribbon, but I, we didn't, we don't have any cherry cobbler ribbon. So I found, um, some linen, some baker's twine. It's part of a, oh, a five pack of the baker's twine, um, essentials. And there's a very vanilla story piece and they've already used all the white. So I took one of Stampin' Up's Stampin' Blends and I colored with the dark cherry cobbler. Um, I colored the linen thread in um, very gently. I'll just kind of show you what I did. Um, be sure you have um, something underneath so that you don't uh, wreck your table or your tabletop. But I just gently um, put the color on and um, so Stampin' Up offers quite a few colors in the blends, probably 35 to 40. So if you can't find the color of ribbon you're looking for, you can always make your own. I love that. And the same, the same with jewels. You can always color with the Stampin' Blends because they are alcohol-based and they dry um, really really quickly. Don't get me wrong, I still have ink all over my hands, but that's um, <laughs> that's just me. All right, so let's put this ribbon, uh, this colored thread on, um, and then we'll put our sentiment on. So I'm starting at the top, and then I'm going to, kind of hard to work with that, um, but we're going to do it because I want to tie a bow. It's looking really awkward but I'm gonna wrap it around. Okay, hang with me, I'll get it. <laughs> mm, it was much easier when I wasn't trying to do this um, on a video. All right, all right, thanks for your patience with that. Phew, all right, so we'll just tie a bow over here on the left-hand side. 
But I love the uh, the fact that I can color the ribbon because um, I wanted cherry cobbler. I um, just you know to match with to coordinate with everything else, um, and righty. And then I'm going to pop that up with a couple of dimensionals and then I'll trim it. And then I'll show you the other two designs that I made with this same um, gift card holder fun fold. Like I say, there are just a ton of different um, easy, fun um, gift card holders. So you can go ahead and go as crazy as you want uh, with that. I'm going to put that in the middle, pull that out, kind of shush up that little thread. Um, there we go. Oh, and you know what? Jewels. We have to have jewels. So these festive pearls are perfect for that. Um, they do, they are, do come in cherry cobbler, so I don't have to um, color any of those. And I'm searching around on my tabletop for my um, pick tool that, I don't know. Anyway, let's use, um, grab three of those pearls and we will put them on our card. My pick tool is, must be on the floor while I was crazy stamping. There we go. Alrighty, there we go. Fun. Fun. Oh, we need to trim, and then we're good to go. All righty. Set that aside. So there is our finished gift card holder, like the one that I made at the... Hey, Lori, thanks for joining. Uses Stampin' Up! Steers to this season stamp set, now on sale for $17.50, as well as um, a walk in... The Forest Designer Series Paper. Um, all right, the other two. This um, this is another favorite of mine. I Can you tell I've been tending toward very vanilla? I'm kind of loving the combinations here. So this is the Joy to You stamp set. I just love that, um, Noel. And the Joyful 12 by 12 um specialty designer series paper. Um, both of these, this stamp set and that designer series paper are retiring as well. They aren't on sale, but if you, um, if you want, if, if you want that, you should get it before it's going away. I don't want you to be disappointed if you can't get it. This lovely gold ribbon is on the Stampin' Ups on online exclusives. So that's another fun I just, uh, that paper is so gorgeous. All right, and the last sample, um, the Mary Bold and Bright uh, designer series paper. That too is retiring. And um, that stamp set, um, oh, can anybody think of the name of it right away? Um, but that one's retiring too. I love it. I used it a lot. Um, I'm going to be sad to see a lot of these things go. Uh, it, Granny Apple Green. There was that Granny Apple Green foil that's really fun with that, too. And I know I've used this stamp set a lot. but um, So there are our three um, fun fold um, gift card holders. All the directions will be on my blog at KimPlaysWithPaper.com. The Facebook Live replay will be available as well as the YouTube um, video. And yes, Cindy, I'd love to share my shopping link. I will put that in the comments. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining me. If you have any questions about um, what I showed today, please give me a shout. Let me know if there's something you want to see in the future. But um, we'll see you back here next week. Thanks so much, everyone, for um Joining, commenting, liking, loving, all that good stuff. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.